Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a um, kind of showing you how from now on the feature updates will appear on your computer. So of course promise starting with version 19.03 of having feature updates only install when you want. If you don't want to install it you can actually just leave it like that and not uh, install the feature updates, but still get the cumulative update, the security updates on your system. So this is how it's going to show up. Next month, some of you will start seeing this update show up like this in Windows Update. Notice how there's check for updates here at the top. It says you're up to date. So it's going to tell you that the feature updates, uh, the cumulative updates, sorry, are, are up to date. Your security updates are up to date. But feature update to Windows 10 is going to be a separate tab and until now that was going to appear until you know with your check for updates and it was pushed to you if you actually did it here you're going to have a download and install now button so unless you click that it's not going to install on your pc so this is how it's going to show up this is really how starting with version 1903 your pc is going to actually um, show you the update like this. That means if you're on the April 2018 update, if you're on the October 2018 update, well, that main 2019 update, you don't have to go to it if you don't want to. Now, there's one major reason why I would actually say if you have to do an update, do this one, uh, not only because it's going to be tested so much, but the red pulling fix will actually speed up your computer. So there's reason why you should go here. And we're going to talk about it in a separate video. But you don't have to. If everything's fine, if your computer runs fine and you don't want to take that, you know, long install time that it takes for feature updates to actually install. And if you don't want to, you know, risk maybe having a PC that doesn't run quite right, you will have 18 months to install a feature update. Right now, it's going to show you version 1903, but as we move on, if you don't install this, well, this fall is going to tell you, oh, well, there's a uh, you know new, fe new feature update version 1909. And, and next year, it's going to say, oh, there's a new version that's, uh, you know, uh, 2003 or so on. And, and it's, of, of course, going to, to tell you that they are available. But you'll have 18 months because typically each version of Windows 10 has a longevity or 18 months for uh, cumulative security updates. Um, after 18 months, you'll have to move on. Well, you'll be forced actually to move on to one of the latest feature updates at that time. But you know, at least you got 18 months of of being relaxed with over whatever version of Windows 10 you actually find is running well. And you know, a lot of you don't want to have the new gizmos and the new features. You don't really care for it. So I think this is a pretty good idea. So that's how it's going to show up. And of course, once again, for those that are wondering, this is going to show up sometime in May. So um, in about a month's time, you guys are going to start seeing the possibility of updating to the latest version of Windows 10, the uh, May 2019 update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.